Welcome back to the State of Health. Our subject today is particularly pertinent. As lifestyles across the globe become increasingly sedentary, thanks to technological advances that reduce our daily physical activity. What's more, we have an aging population, with the number of adults aged 60 years or older on the rise. So let's delve into a recent study which investigates the association between a sedentary lifestyle and the risk of dementia. The study took place in the UK and included almost 50,000 adults who were 60 years or older. These individuals did not have a diagnosis of dementia at the time they put on the wrist accelerometer, a device that would measure their daily physical activity. The study started recording from the moment the accelerometers were put on, in a period between 2013 and 2015, and continued until as recently as September 2021 for individuals living in England. One of the key things the researchers were looking at was the mean daily sedentary behavior time. On average, the older adults in the study were sedentary for about 9.27 hours a day. When this time increased, so did the risk of developing dementia. For example, spending 10 hours in sedentary behavior was associated with an 8% higher risk of dementia. 12 hours posed a 63% higher risk, while 15 hours in sedentary amounted to more than a threefold risk. Also of note is that longer periods of uninterrupted sedentary behavior were associated with a higher risk of dementia. So if we think of sedentary behavior like sitting down and watching a movie, the longer you stay seated without any interruptions, the higher the risk. However, it's important to point out that it was not the number of sedentary periods through the day that posed a risk. It was the duration, the cumulative time spent sitting or laying low. Interestingly, after adjusting for the time spent in sedentary behavior, the length of these sedentary bouts no longer presented a significant association with dementia. So what's the bottom line here? The key takeaway from this meticulous study is the clear association between prolonged sedentary behavior and an increased risk of dementia among older adults. Delving deeper, it's crucial to understand that the cumulative time spent in such behavior, rather than the frequency, plays a significant role in this increased risk. This essentially means that sitting for long, uninterrupted periods is more detrimental than multiple short bouts of sedentary activities. The significance of these findings lies in their potential to influence healthcare strategies and lifestyle modifications targeting the aging population. This study serves as a wake-up call, highlighting the necessity of integrating more physical activity into our daily routines as we age. It underscores the potential health hazards of a sedentary lifestyle, a lifestyle that technology and modern conveniences have made all too easy to slip into. Moreover, while this research does not definitively establish a cause-effect relationship between sedentary behavior and dementia, it certainly indicates a strong correlation that warrants further investigation. The findings could potentially revolutionize the approach to dementia prevention, shifting the focus towards promoting an active lifestyle as a preventive measure, rather than merely treating the symptoms of dementia once they manifest. In conclusion, the importance of this study is dual-fold. Firstly, it provides healthcare professionals with valuable insights, enabling them to develop effective interventions to mitigate the risk of dementia in older adults. Secondly, it paves the way for future research to delve into the nuances of how sedentary behavior influences dementia risk and how this risk can be reduced by promoting an active lifestyle. Ultimately, these findings could change the landscape of dementia prevention and care, introducing a new era of active and healthy aging. Anyways, friends, that is going to do it for today's State of Health. If you found this insightful, please do me a huge favor. Click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're listening as a podcast, consider leaving a review or a five-star rating. Don't forget to check out stateofhealth.care for more relevant medical news and content. Until next time, keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close.